Hey Zombies! Today I'm going to tell you about my experience as one of the song nurses for the Blood Drive campaign for the movie Jigsaw, which I'm sure you already know was pretty much the most exciting day of my whole life so far. Look at this tail! That's a fluffy tail! I will be narrating the footage like this because you can't hear a lot of the audio that I have from that day or there was music playing in the background that's copyrighted that I can't use. Speaking of bad audio, plane, could you stop? The Saw Nurse Blood Drive campaign, if you don't already know, is something that they have done every Saw movie since the beginning in 2004. Photographer Tim Palin has always been behind these campaigns and he shoots these like cool, creepy, vintage nurse posters. And these Saw Nurse posters promote the blood drive, which, you know, you go out, you give some blood, you save some lives. And this year they were giving away free tickets for anyone who did give blood to go see Jigsaw. So it's a good trade-off. So I got a call one day where I found out that they wanted me to be one of the nurses this year to promote the blood drive. And I screamed and I ran around the house and then I screamed some more and then I ran around the house some more and then I said yes, I would love to be a part of it. So here is the morning of that day. The morning of the saw shoot. I wasn't really nervous, but I was super excited. <laughs> The only thing I was nervous about is that I'm not a model, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Tim Palin is legit. His work is incredible. It's an honor for anyone, I think, to be able to work with him, let alone someone who is, is not a real model. So that was very cool. Lionsgate sent a car to come pick me up and take me to Milk Studios, where we filmed. I'm in the bathroom. They gave me a robe. They gave me a robe and slippers to change into. Let's get comfy. And then it was time for hair and makeup. It's hair time, baby. <laughs> they had a whole incredible team of artists that were ready with, with what they were gonna do to me and everyone was super, super nice, super helpful. Getting my makeup done by someone else was weird, but also really fun. I have such a blank canvas kind of face with no makeup on that I'm always interested in how someone else would do my makeup. I have such a set way of doing my brows and how I like my eyeliner and lashes, but seeing someone else just kind of fill in my face however they want was really fun. They also hooked me up to a microphone in the middle of getting my makeup done to interview me, which was total no pressure situation. It was very nerve wracking. And they asked me some questions. I was in the hot seat for a little bit. They finished my hair. <laughs> which involved me looking like a troll temporarily. <laughs> He's a hair magician. They showed me the set before I actually got there so that I could check it out and see what the space is like. You know, cause like real models scope out the space they're gonna, they're gonna shoot in so that they can get ideas of what to do. I was one of eight saw nurses for this year's campaign. And pretty much everyone else that is a saw nurse is an actual model, so. <laughs> Still a no pressure situation. Everyone's wardrobe was really different from each other. I got to see sketches of that on my fitting day, which was really, really cool. I was only on set with Sean Ross and Naya Kim that day. Everybody else shot the next day, but they were both super nice, super beautiful in person, as you would expect, and, and yeah, then I got into my outfit for the day, which was a latex dress, a latex corset, uh, a beautiful shawl, some gloves, and some really fancy high heels. Look at these <laughs> shoes, I can barely stand, but look at them. They're pointy. I could kick someone and really hurt them. Get the blood drive going. They literally had to lube my body up to slide me into this dress. I, I could barely walk, I could barely move. It kind of limited my poses, but Luckily, they wanted me to kind of just be like a, like a little angel that I am. Just kind of keep it, keep it contained. Then it was time for the shoot. Um, it was kind of just like a whirlwind. 
There was so many people I got last looks, which is when they fix hair and makeup or any wardrobe that they need to last minute while you're on set right before you walk on. I'd pose for like 10 pictures and then they would come and do touch-ups again to my hair, makeup, whatever. Especially the hair. Lots of hair touch-ups. Had to be the perfect. It went really fast. It only felt like I was up there for about five minutes. It was probably longer, but I had no sense of time. There's a lot of people there watching. <laughs> I got to see a couple of shots that they took on the monitors. They quickly pulled me over to do a second photo shoot on just a black background, so not in the boxes. And I'll show you what I think those pictures were for later. And that was, that was pretty much the day. After that was done, I got to eat lunch and hang out with a really cute dog and chill in my robe <laughs> and slippers and the backpack. And then the final photo came out in October to promote the blood drive along with all the other real models. This is mine. I'll just, I'll just put it on the screen in higher quality, but. Thank you to the person who gave me this during the Jigsaw premiere. She asked me to sign a copy and was nice enough to give me one. <laughs> Which is cool, because I don't have one otherwise. And I, I think it's so, I can't believe I'm part of this campaign because I'm someone who looked at these photos from years past and, and saw us past and just thought that is so cool that they do that. These nurse posters are so creepy and I love them and I never thought I'd be one of them. I can't believe I'm one of them. Yeah, just <laughs> can't even put it into words clearly. I got to go to the premiere of Jigsaw. It was amazing, it was gory, it was really gory. Like really, really gory. It was everything I ever dreamt. Uh, and then I got another surprise from Tim Palin and Lionsgate right after the Jigsaw premiere. This came in the mail. How freaking cute is this? So cute! And inside the box, it's photos of, I think what was taken on the black background. And it's all the nurses they're all photos that weren't released for the blood drive campaign, but I think are just for the people who worked on it, which is really so cool of them. Of course, with Mr. Tobin Bell himself, Jigsaw. And all of these saw nurses from the past campaigns are here too. This is the very first one. And then we got saw two, saw three, saw four, saw five, and saw six. So that was a really, really cool gift. I'm so proud to be a part of this campaign. It says currently on the website that 120,000 pints of blood were donated and 360,000 lives were saved. But I'm pretty A positive that I wouldn't have had this opportunity without you guys, because they would have never asked someone like me to do this if not for having a bunch of really cool, creepy little zombies that are watching my videos. So thank you guys for helping me do something that is like a dream come true, for real. By the way, Lionsgate, if you would like to kill anyone, any YouTubers in Saw 9, just know that I've got a great scream. Great scream! <coughs> yeah, now I'm rambling, as per usual. This was the end of my day, roll it. So I am done my Saw shoot, and that was so fun. I can't believe this is a real day, honestly, because this is this is a dream come true. I sound really nerdy, but I don't care. I look really nerdy. But I don't care. Anyway, that's all. See you next time. Bye.